All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We got a train to rob. Why can't I? Is my... Uh-oh. The question is, where is it going to spit us back out at? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. All right, we're back at it. There we go. Yeah, you see this snow? Everybody, that that's fake snow. The snow in Texas is not fake. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. All right. Finally descending out of this mountain. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? 
This is what I call a crew. Mike Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go you back. literally just what got I chased said, out of Blackwater. We go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Hold. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. All right. Hold. How you getting on there, Bill? How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Uh, where's the detonator over there? There we go. You know, the prospect of working with dynamite has never made me feel easy about it. It just feels like shit could go wrong at any moment, and I don't okay. like it. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen. It's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, all right, time to go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, you go. Okay. Hey! 
Who's next? Go we'll talk about it. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. This up. Oh shit. Your best. I'm going okay, he's probably dead. Let's try to stop it. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. I got plenty of company. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. All right, let's go. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good Here we enough. go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Get on up there. 
Search that train. All right, let's go. <laughs> Excuse me, Javier. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've Damn. seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> The expression is pie, Mike. Huh? Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Got a couple of letters see here. We can get this open. Come on. Come on. Anything in the desk? Getting there. <laughs> Expensive cigarettes and some money. There. See? That's how it's done. Got it? Yep. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Blah, blah, blah. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. All right, boys, what should I do with you? Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Come on. Move. Keep moving. On, tell soul, I Get on the train. Get a move on. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. All right, can I? Let's loot a couple more bodies. Always need the money. And up we go. <whistles> Bye, boys. We getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch.
Mika, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Forgetting how gorgeous this game is. Get us out the street. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, oh, shit. Literally. Okay. Let's take a look. All right. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Sure. <laughs> Just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Didn't your mom ever teach you to respect the elders? Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? Trouble, we wouldn't have seen him. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Yo, what's this? Thanks for all the subs, man. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left, inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold Holy a very shit. Right deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean Jordan away from Robinson, them. Jordan Robinson, Dickie, I didn't Killed manage to see all of them. Up to the but thank you, guys. The of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well... Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. Yeah, there's quite a few people like that. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned <laughs> fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. I want another prequel game with a we young still Arthur. Heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. 
Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Everybody flips their lids sometimes, too. It just usually doesn't involve a bunch of deaths. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng? Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Sweet. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's the road. And we can speed up a little bit. Get these horses moving. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. All right. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Hop on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. Right now, anyway. Sweet. It's like a great, great hidden place, too. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is Here perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town 
Little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Calls it a creepy little smile. I wonder what that looks like. It was probably unsettling as hell. Always good to see. You. Morning. How you doing, Yo, Molly? I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. We need to be alone. How you doing, say? Or not talking. Not talking. Okay. <laughs> Just get snubbed early in the morning. It's fine. I'm the fella tied to the tree, so I guess I must be. I've met some Morning, Mr. Morgan. Oh, yeah? You okay? You must be hungry. Oh, dear God. She's going to kill him. Well, I'll leave this here then. Oh, shit. You ain't mentioned the Blackwater money for five minutes. This is a new record. <laughs> you're the one to talk. No, it's just you. The only reason you're still here. I know that. Why are you so threatened by me? I'm not. I just don't like you. All right. Wait, can we fuck with Kieran? Kieran. Not you again. Please don't hurt me. At least say it like you mean it. Uh, hello? I'm only joking with you. I'm not some toy, you know. Maybe not, but that's kind of what you're here for. My lady. You damn fool, Arthur Morgan. You'll catch your death. Well, put some warm clothes on. We just got here. Like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, goodbye. Hey there. Good day, Mr. Morgan. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Just know, we're grateful. All right then, Arthur. Hey there, Tim. I wonder if I'll ever know. Good morning, smell Arthur. A campfire Doing again. a good job there. I think it's in our Thank you, Oh Arthur. my god, Arthur, no. So don't let me disturb you. All right, Arthur.
What you doing, Uncle? Ow! Whoa, whoa! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Well, it's right. livestock town, the so there's they probably they some people there. Yeah. Two of the horses got loose. Damn horses. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. <laughs> Very serious. Yeah, you got right, lower back pain. Going on. Hey, buddy. Go, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure. Sure, no problem. Whoa, whoa, easy. Whoa, easy, easy. Go on, Arthur. Easy. Whoa, now, easy. Take it easy, there. Relax. Come on. I ain't gonna hurt you. I will not stand behind you, either. That is not something you're supposed to do. Good boy. Come on. What can I say? I'm a pro. Got your horse? Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Not a problem. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> you're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have <laughs> hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> All right, in the town. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> a little bit of both. Funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. 
She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. It's literally the only way There's it goes. On the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. <laughs> Come down the end there, near the stables. What? You looking for trouble? All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> mm -hmm, okay. Sure. Don't believe it. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> no. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Okay, you ain't have to roast him that hard. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Yeah, I'm gonna. Whiskey's uh, on the top shelf, nearest the door. Buy some clothes instead. What can I do? There we go. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Right, what we got? Now for a coat and so under, undershirt. You're actually buying for once? You feeling all right? See this? Don't. What do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Mm. It just kind of looked like the same thing. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. I don't like none of these. Uh, what about this? Yes. Traditional? Nah. Classic, maybe? Yes, yeah, solid colors. Now for pants and boots. <coughs> Everyday pants. Boots. What are we, let's go with riding boots because those are just normal boots, right? Yeah. We got uh Spenders Spurs. I like these. And we still got a hundred and two dollars left. Oh, 
Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house and acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. No, it does not. Hold on. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. Back up. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Come on. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. I know you ain't, because if you did, you get shot. Uncle and Mary Beth, they're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Not a problem. Uncle! Okay. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. All right, thank you, sir. Stairs no we go. trouble now, please. I cannot promise that. Is that two A? <coughs> hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock not. town. Okay There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. You should After probably you. keep a knife on you too at all times, just in case. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. Ah, oh, shit. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Alright, hey, let's see if we can catch him. Just on it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. That's far enough! Oh no. Get back here! I didn't mean nothing by it. Oh, then why'd you ask? We need to talk, pal! Please! I can't get up! Why 
Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I'm big. All right. Come on. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent. In this year old mind. <laughs> All right now. Come on. Come on. You keep that mouth shut. You have a nice day now, sir. You too. Yeah. What the hell? What was the plan? What'd I get? Carrots. Is that the only one? Or the only two? Yeah. All right, let's yep. take you back. Where's town at? I'm close. I was just borrowing it. All right, let's see what this is over here. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Partner? Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can um, I? Um... Okay. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Yeah, you're we used right. To hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Okay. 
Thank you. Sir. Right, across the street. Hey, boy. Come on. Hello, boy. All right, I can't patch it. Up, oh, never mind. <laughs> Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting <laughs> to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. You got another hunt to go to. Inspect document. Well, all right. Okay. Oh, no, don't crouch. Don't crouch. Stand up. Stand up, you fool. All right, so when we return in a moment, we're going to hit the saloon for the next main mission. But I thank so much for watching. If you haven't already, uh, drop me a follow, and I'll be back in a moment.